Hello, this is Jessica from Pindrop Shop. I am just finishing up some of my holiday making and I thought I would show you what I'm doing here. So I've been making these Norwegian Christmas baubles by Arnie and Carlos. So these are the flat baubles. They haven't been steam pressed yet and they haven't been stuffed yet. Here's one that has been stuffed, but I didn't steam press it, so I'm gonna remove the stuffing and do that. So typically to finish a knit, I do what I consider to be, I don't know, the normal blocking method where you soak the knit, you um, press out all the water with a towel, and then you lay it out on a surface, pin it out and let it dry. Um, but I learned from Arnie and Carlos in Norway that this is not the way they usually do it. They do it a different way with an iron. And this is the first time I'm gonna try it, so I thought I would bring you along for the ride. So, um, you can see that my knitting's just a little bit warbly. It's not perfect, but I'm hoping that the steam blocking or pressing will help. I absolutely love these. I think the pronunciation is Eulicules. Um, I love them. They were so fun to make. This is going to be a present for my aunt, and Christmas is tomorrow, so I'm trying to finish them up now. Okay, so to do the blocking the Arnie and Carlos or Norwegian way, you need a damp towel, an iron, and an ironing board. So I have all that ready. Um, I have my damp towel, and I guess we're just going to place this on top of the knits. Okay, and I have my iron set to the wool setting, silk wool setting, so not too hot. And I guess I'm just going to press down. Um, so they explained it as the wool, as you know, has lanolin in it. And as it gets heat and moisture, it's almost like the lanolin and the other things are coming out to give the yarn conditioner, kind of like you would condition your hair, make it all nice and pretty. That's what I understood it to mean. So, I'm just kind of doing this, I don't really know how long, but... Okay, so I've moved the iron around for a couple of minutes. I'm going to remove the damp towel. And I really do think they look better. So some of this color work that I did do a bit too tight. You can still see it's puffing out. But I mean, it's considerably better. This one looks considerably better. So I don't know, I'm just going to flip them over and do them again, I guess the other side and then I'll just have to weave in the tails and um, make the little hanging loops stuff them and put them in a pretty box for my aunt. This is a much easier method for um, finishing than the other way of blocking. The other way takes a long time to dry, a long time to pin out, um, this seems like a pretty good method, and I think I'll use it again. So if you're interested in making these Norwegian Christmas baubles, you can um, get Arnie and Carlos's book. They have a bunch of different patterns for these, and they're super addictive and fun. I used Blue Sky wool stock for mine, which is probably my favorite yarn. I used the colors um, Red Rock, Beautiful Deep rich red and the Highland Fleece, which is just like an off-white. And there you have it. I think they look fantastic. I think it made a huge difference. Well, I hope you guys will try this out next time and have a Merry Christmas.